What's up guys, this is Aiden Rides and today, actually tonight, I'm coming back with a brand brand new fishing video and in this video uh, we're going to be doing something hopefully pretty cool. I just got out of Fleet Farm actually and I found two super super cool things. Um, I won't show you one of them though because that will be a future video. This is the second thing we found. I'm pretty sure I've heard people call it like an A-Rig or an umbrella rig I'm pretty sure one or the other I actually think it could work really really well in the fall especially with that smaller presentation they have some medium uh, large and a small size one and I got the small I think I'm not sure if I'll be able to go out fishing tomorrow but um one of these days here I have a four-day break off of school so I should be able to get out and do some fishing it's super cold but um hopefully I can get out and see if I can catch some fish on that uh, umbrella rig for you guys so good night and I'll see you guys the next day or one of the one of these days <laughs> what's up guys this is Aiden rides and it's the next day uh that wind actually is dying down and that rain is backing off so i think we're gonna get a chance to go out and uh try that live target uh a rig or umbrella rig yeah hopefully these will uh get on some fish today i think i have a few spots on the lake mapped out and um we're gonna go out and see if we can find them with this uh umbrella rig today so i'm gonna get the boat in uh, the back of the truck and we'll start heading out to the lake all right guys we just got out to the first spot uh i'm just about to open this up here it's not too windy um it's a little bit windy over here but it's not horrible uh, i think we can deal with it and the winds actually do our favor uh, i won't be casting into the wind uh the wind will actually be taking um this lure so that's really good i really really like this like natural it's almost kind of like a shad color um we don't really have any shad in any of the lakes around here um but i think this could also match like some of the minnows we have this is so cool i love this little lure i really want to catch a fish on here today all right it's got actually a, a decent amount of weight to it i don't think this will be too bad to throw at all actually all right first cast i'm so excited to try this lure out oh my gosh i'm casting in shallow right here um, I'm sitting in about 18 to 19 feet of water. There's a huge drop off, like almost kind of like a ledge type thing over here where it's really shallow and then it drops right off into this bowl. And um, I thought it'd be a really nice spot for those fish that are maybe not all the way deep yet. Um, they're kind of just staying back. They're not super shallow either, but I think they'd be right on this drop off, um, kind of just waiting to go deep. So that's kind of my thinking on this spot. Um, it should be pretty good. I marked a couple fish on the way over here in around 13 to 14 feet of water. So, oh yeah, this looks amazing. <laughs> Alright guys, second spot. I actually uh, saw something pretty cool on my graph there. I uh, marked a few fish. Um, I'd say about three or four fish. And there was a couple on what looked to be um, some structure kind of right in front of me and then there was also a couple just kind of in open water over here suspended in about nine feet I mean I saw them at 17 feet and they were suspended at about nine ish feet of water so at least I'm looking in somewhat of the right spot and I am marking them so uh, that is a good sign that's a, a good start That's a fish. Oh yeah, nice bass. Real nice bass. There we go, you guys. That's probably one of the fish I marked. Oh, that's a nice bass. That's a real nice fish. 
There we go. Look at that. On the A-Rig, the umbrella. Oh my gosh. Second spot, you guys. That's probably a good two and a half, three pounder right there. That's a, a big boy. Oh, let's go. First fish. Look at that right there on the A-Rig. All right, we'll get this guy back. All right, put you back here, dude. I don't want to get my glove all wet. Right back down there. Let's go. Let's go, you guys. I'm so, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, that was such a nice fish. I've came out like, I've tried to film a couple of videos too the past couple days. Uh, it just wasn't working out. So it was nice to come out and actually fish on my boat here and uh, get out and try and find some of these fish and there we go we caught him that's so awesome first fish ever on an umbrella rig that's so awesome all right uh i think we're gonna keep fishing with it it's working obviously uh we're gonna cast it out and see if we can get some of these uh fish that were right back over here i think that could have been one of them so we'll see if we can get some of the other ones Alright guys, I just moved spots again. Um, I think this will be one of the last spots here before I start heading back. So it's getting freezing cold out here, especially with this wind. My hands are about to freeze off. So uh, I think this will be one of the last spots here and then um, we'll start heading out. But let's see if we can get one more fish before we leave. I just missed a fish right by the boat. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on. Let's see if he'll eat it again. That was like right at the boat. Gosh. What's up guys, I just got back a little bit ago. Uh, I took a shower and got all warmed up and uh, I was just gonna come and film a little outro for you guys before I make something to eat here. So I just wanted to say thank you so, so much for watching this video. Um, it was super cool to come out and uh, try a new lure today. I was super satisfied with the way it worked. I was hoping that um, I could have caught a little bit more fish than I did, but the one I caught was super quality and um, it was kind of a challenge video just to see if I could catch something today. So technically, we caught a fish and we completed the challenge, so it was definitely a, a successful video in my book. So um, I'll definitely be putting this lure in my tackle box for next spring and next summer, and hopefully we can catch some monsters on it. So uh, yeah, guys, there's going to be a little bit of time here where I might not be able to film um, and make videos. Uh, there's going to be like that period between where there's uh, you can't really get out and film um, and fish open water, but um, you also can't ice fish either because the ice is not going to be thick enough so there's going to be a little bit of time there where i might not be making videos but if you guys want to go check out my instagram i'll uh, still be posting up there hopefully and uh, keeping you guys updated before the ice comes and uh we can start filming some banger ice videos this winter so i'm super excited for that and uh yeah guys uh, i hope you can get out on the water learn a little bit more and um i'll see you guys in the next video